All right, what's up, man? So after after my exploring and adventures up north in Alaska, I'm gonna migrate um, down south to the equator, somewhere where my body could get all the vitamin D. I mean, I'm getting plenty of vitamin D up here because the sun, I haven't seen a full night of darkness since I've gotten here, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, man, so I want to, yeah, relocate to where my ancestors come from, which is Mama Africa, not the continent, the god -tenant. Um, yeah, I want to relocate there and start. I want to definitely keep traveling and see as many places as I can. It's getting kind of chilly, so I put this on. I want to travel and see as many places all over the globe. I'm on a mission right now I'm basically like I'm just journaling my experience um, everywhere I go this is my journal right here pretty much just um write down my thoughts write down how some of my days go when I first started I was doing it every single day for about a month and then I started breaking it down a little bit like every other day so yeah I want to move to Africa man number one because I am very, very aware that um, my bloodline can be traced down there. Though I haven't heard, I haven't heard anything word of mouth in my family. No one in my family really knows. They're not really knowledgeable of it, of where we, who we are, and where we come from. Um, I've asked my mom. My mom doesn't really know. The most I've heard is. This, I have a white great grandparent, but I don't really care for that at all. I'm proud to be as black as possible. And on my dad's side, so both my parents come from um, born and raised in Jamaica, like they're as Jamaican as it gets. My dad migrated up here when he was about 30. I think my mom came way, way earlier when she was about 16 with her family, but 16 years in Jamaica is enough to say you're from Jamaica. like. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, they both migrated to the US and they met in the US and they had me in the US. So yeah. So yes, both parents are Jamaican and on my dad's side, I've heard rumors that I have um, great uncles or some great relative that was a Maroon. And a Maroon are the people who are like direct descendants from the Ashanti tribes of Ghana, Ghana, which is West Africa, they were captured warriors and sent off to the America, KK cause, <laughs> sent off to the Americas to work as slaves. And they were one of the most rebellious set of people to tread the earth. And they fought against that. They set up their own communities. They invented camouflage by dressing up in bushes and fighting off the British and what have you. And yeah, so high chances I have that running through my bloodline. And there's even more proof because my dad is from St. Thomas and St. Thomas is where the Maroons are from. So there is some truth in that. So that's as far as I know, but I don't really have to trace too hard to know that I am of African descent, even though I would love to know exactly where I come from. It does bother me, but that's probably as far as I'll get to know. But you never know. I may even meet a family member one of these days who has more knowledge of our ancestry. I really know I'll, I trust and believe I'll meet someone like that one of these days because I have so much family all over that I haven't even met yet. So yeah, until I meet those people who can give me some more knowledge on who we are and where we come from. I'll be very happy to hear that. But yeah, so despite all that, um, I'm very aware that I am of African descent and 
I want to be the first in my bloodline to relocate to where we come from and start a life there, start a brand new life there, um, have family, families um, just all over or wherever I decide to settle. So I've been to two African countries in my life. Um, so when I was a bit younger, about 11, 12 years old, I was living overseas with my mom and my two younger siblings because my mom was a teacher at the time and she had a teaching opportunity to teach in Abu Dhabi. So she took that and she moved with, she moved with me and my two younger siblings over there. Taught for two years, basically teaching the Arab kids and just living over there. And since we were living in Abu Dhabi, we were able to travel to many nearby countries, hence European countries like Greece, um, Russia, Rome, um, African countries, which was Ethiopia, which is when I went to, I'll get into that. We were able to go to, I think that's about it. We didn't go too, too far stretch out there. Um, Dubai, obviously, but Dubai is like right there. That was like a drive. That wasn't like a long plane ride. But yeah, we did go to a few nearby countries. So we ended up going to Ethiopia. I don't remember how long, I think it was about a week. Something about, I went to Ethiopia. I was actually right there in Haile Selassie's palace and all that good stuff. And I didn't even realize until recently when I saw the pictures, I'm like, yo, what? Cause you know, I was a kid, I didn't understand. I didn't know anything about any Pan-Africanists or nothing like that. Only thing I knew about Africa at the time was lions, zebras, giraffes, and baboons. That's all I knew. But now when I look back, I'm like, wow, I literally sat in Celestia's, um throne or whatever and was in there. Now when I look back at the pictures, I'm like, oh my God, such a blessing to be there. But yeah, so I mean, my mom, she's not really like a Pan-Africanist or Pan-African or anything like that. But she was just there, you know, for the experience, which is okay. But yeah, and I look back, I'm like, wow. So yes, I've been to Ethiopia as a young kid. And then recently, if you go back on some old videos a few months back, I went to Kenya as a woofer. Um, I was 20 at the time, I'm 21 now. I wanted to get the hell out of my dad's basement, which is where I was at the time, and just go travel somewhere. And I went through a lot of adversity before I went. Like everyone and their mom was saying everything as negative as they could. Like, oh, you're gonna get kidnapped. Oh, Kenya's not safe, you know? It's still a waste of money. I, I mean, I heard it all. And still through all that, something inside was telling me, man, fuck him, and I just went, you know? And it was a great experience. I met some wonderful people and I plan to go back. Um, maybe after this season, I'm here in Alaska, but something's called me to go to Jamaica first. Um, just because I've been there since I was 14. I, I do want to embrace myself in that culture because it truly is my culture. You know, it'd be so cool if I was speaking Patois, you know. If you don't know, Patois is, um, it's like a, it's not a broke, people say it's a broken English, but it's a fixed English. It's an English that mixes with many different languages. As you know, when the Africans were brought there, they they combined their language with the English, British language that they were speaking into their own little dialect. So we say a lot of words that you have to be in Jamaica for an extended amount of time to, you know, overstand. But yeah, that's how it is still. Um, yeah. So yeah, something's really called me to go to Jamaica first and then I'll make my way up to somewhere in Africa. I'll definitely go back to Kenya. I have a friend there that I promised her I will come back and I never break a promise. But you know, once I'm in Kenya and I'm there, like every other country will be very easy to just access and get to. And I wanna go there and meet a lot of like-minded Pan-African individuals who are on the same thing. Cause now I'm looking on YouTube, there's plenty of people my age who understand exactly what I'm saying as far as knowing our roots and our history and who we are and starting a new life in Africa because Africa is the future. If you do enough research, you'll see many, many people from the diaspora, diaspora meaning blacks abroad, 
it could be Brazil, America, Europe, they're all relocating on the continent everywhere and figuring themselves out and building foundations. And I just love it, it's amazing. It's, I know it's making our ancestors proud. It is our ancestors. Our ancestors' spirit runs through us and you know gives us that fighting spirit. And I've been blessed enough in my bloodline, my family line, to be the one to realize, you know, that I gotta make a life back home. So whether that be Ghana, um, Tanzania, I really do want to be somewhere in West Africa. I have never been there yet. Like um, Ghana, which is nine out of 10 times where I direct, my bloodline directly comes from, somewhere along those lines, you know, Ghana, Nigeria, Mali, Togo, Benin, I can name them all. So yes, um, I just want to get up here and talk about that because I don't really get too personal with my viewers, but now this will give you a better overstanding on my mindset and where I'm going. I just want my audience to know that though I'm traveling these places where I'm like the minority of how I am, I am on a secret mission and don't get it twisted. <laughs> I am here for you guys and I'm here for the ancestors, to honor the ancestors. I'm on a mission to see the world, because though we are people of African descent, we do not limit it. We do not limit ourselves to one particular place on this globe. This world is too big for us to, you know. We should explore. Though I know the system, the shitstem in many places around the globe is very corrupt and not for us. Personally, I have never experienced any direct racism or anything, but I've heard so many stories and seen things with my own eyes from other people who look like me that, you know, it's not fair. And I understand where you guys are coming from, but as people, as black people, there was a time when it was only us on the earth. And that's a fact. You could look it up. You can feel how you want to feel about it, but it's the truth. And we should honor that. If it were not for our ancestors traveling this globe, there would be no, these other ethnic groups wouldn't really be a thing. But yeah, all in all, I just wanna say, I'm enjoying myself here in Alaska, I love it. I am I feel myself expanding as a person. I feel way more confident in when I speak. And yeah, and I just wanna get on, I wanna make sure we're all on the same page, you know, so. One perfect love, and till next video, peace out.